The way you activate Faultless Defense is by holding away from the opponent and holding down two attack buttons. These can be any two attack buttons, but because of this, you can use an option select that will cover cross-ups. If you activate Faultless Defense by using Punch as one of your buttons, you create a situation where you will Faultless Defense if the opponent does not cross up, and the input will become 6p if the opponent does cross up, causing you to anti-air them. When you get a counter hit, the game slows down drastically. During this slowdown, the way the game registers inputs changes slightly. If used correctly, this allows you to get a much bigger punish without having to worry about using the right follow-up attack. When you input your initial attack, you can quickly input two different special moves back to back, but only the first special move will come out on regular hit, and the second special move will come out on counter hit. So if you're frame trapping someone, you can often select the higher damaging punish and not have to worry about hit confirming. During a safe jump, a common defensive option for opponents is to backdash, since it has invulnerability. But because of this invulnerability, your jump and attack will whiff, meaning you won't be in any hit lag from the attack hitting the opponent. You can use this lack of hit lag to do an option select. As you do your initial safe jump attack, you can input a move that will catch your opponent's backdash as you are landing. If the opponent does not backdash, the move will not come out as you are in hit lag from the initial safe jump attack. If the opponent does backdash, you will just fall to the ground and immediately initiate your follow-up attack that will catch your opponent's backdash. If you learned anything from this video, let us know in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe to the Nine Moons YouTube channel, and join the Discord for more quick tips and FGC events.